What's up, everyone? Hey there, guys. Hello. How are you all doing? We good? We cool? So we're here today, once again, to talk about Breakers, right? Breakers collection, but we have some something special, very special for you guys. We have a feature here with the brand new Battle Mode, right? Team yeah, Battle Team Mode. Team Battle Mode, right? And it's absolutely fun. It's very good to play. Yeah. So before we start, let us check uh, with you guys. How is audio? Can you hear us all right? Uh, good evening, everyone. For those of you who are in the same time zone as we are, good afternoon. For those of you that are in a different time zone, and good morning. Maybe someone is ahead of us. You never know, right? How are you all doing? Yeah. So this uh, this one live, we are going to talk about like like you said, team battle mode for uh, breakers, which is something that. We, we did mention that in our previous uh, lives, right? Like our, yeah. our previous stream. But we haven't anything to show. I have nothing to show back then. But today exactly. we have everything to show. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, what you're seeing right now on screen is the actual functioning team battle mode, right? So uh, the way that our our team has implemented that is that you can actually choose between a, a, two, uh, a 2v2 mode or a 3v3 mode. And what you're seeing right now is uh, a versus match. Uh, a 3v3 mode. A 3v3 yes. mode. Yeah. By the way, uh, Bruno is player one and I'm player two. It's, uh, I believe it will be very easy to identify which one. <laughs> <laughs> we were just having some fun while playing yeah. to show you guys. <laughs> well, let's see if we can. Uh, of course, this is a video, it's a pre recorded video because we wanted to talk to you and pay attention to the questions you had. So what you're going to see is this recorded session, but maybe after a while we, we go and try to show some uh, some live features, right? Some sure, live yeah. functioning, yeah? I hope we have a good build in our hands today, and I believe that transmission will be everything. Yeah. I believe it's fine. You guys have to excuse us because uh, we are using my, uh, my workstation here, and my workstation has some very has quite a temper, you know, you never know it's going <laughs> to act out, right? Yeah, so. <laughs> so how many characters per team? So Ultra, Ultra has asked here. That's a very good question. As we said earlier, actually, the way we have implemented uh, the team battle mode in uh, Breakers Collection, first of all, you actually have, you have it implemented in both versions of the game, so you have uh, the battle mode for Breakers and for Breakers Revenge as well, yeah. right? And you have, in both cases, you have a 2v2 mode, so two uh, pair versus a pair, right? And you have a 3v3 mode, so uh, you actually can choose uh, between these two methods to play your, your uh, team battles, right? And you can choose the, your character's color, you can change whatever you want. It's Yeah, something that was a request, battle. actually, like, like, we, uh, like we said last time, guys, we are always listening to you. We are always listening to the community. And one of the requests you had was actually uh, some method to choose the color from the players. We uh, not by using because in the game, the original games, you actually get to choose by the button you press. Yeah. But now we actually have a uh, right right beneath your character. You actually gonna see like the colors, and then you can swap your colors before you finish your selection using Y in your controller, or depending on your controller, it's the PlayStation, it's the, the triangle button, triangle, right? Yeah. Or if it's or the, like the... a switch, it's going to be X, right? That's the opposite, right? Um, so as we were saying, you can choose 2v2 or 3v3 in each of the games, right? So in, in either of the games, so you do have that in the Breakers, the original game, and Breakers Revenge, right? Something that is a new addition, you can, if you pay attention to your screen, you're going to see that you actually have a list of the players, of the characters you have left, right? So if you pay attention to each of the, uh, the players' corners, you're going to see that you, you have the list of characters there. And you have a winning screen that is going to reflect all of the characters of your team. So this is brand new. This was not part of the original game. This is something that our dev team has created exclusively for the Breaks collection, right? And uh, it's not a, a tag mode, it's one at a time. You have to, 
you can change in mid battle. You can. Yeah, it, it's out. very similar to what you would experience with traditional King of Fighters, right? Yes, so exactly. In the sense that you you select your team, you pick your team, and then each player gonna is gonna be available until it runs out of health, right? So uh, the the HP bar is the uh, the planet, right? And then the next player or the next cost, uh, character is gonna kick in, right? Yeah. So little guy Alex, he mentioned here, uh, hey team, uh, thanks for bringing this on the radio jam to the modern day. Oh, thank you, little guy. We have a little, a little. It's more our pleasure to bring it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's a great. Uh, I know a lot of people like breakers. I was back then when I back in the '90s. I used to play the game and I loved it. And we are very pleased to be able to bring these games to a modern audience. So people who have experienced this game in the past can play it once more uh, easily, you know, like, because you can play it in your uh, current platforms, right? But also to people who may have never played the game back then, they now have a chance to experience because it's a very good game. It's really fun to play, you know? Uh, it's a very different play, play, play style from or we are used to, like uh, Street Fighter, for example. I play like I play Street Fighter, and it's not the same game, it's not the same play style, it's completely different. And you you will feel it as soon as you get controller. It's very good. It's It has it had its own unique play style. It's very good, very uh, very easy to learn, very easy to, to fight with. Yeah. So, uh... Super Popeye Gamer, <laughs> he's asking, is these Breakers one? What you're seeing on screen right now is actually the battle, the battle mode for Breakers Revenge. But as we said, it's going to run on both of the games. So you actually get to pick whether you want to play it uh, on Breakers, uh, the original Breakers, or Breakers Revenge, right? Uh, what else? So... Little guy mentioned, yeah, links are easy. Yeah, this is this is a very fun game because of yeah. that, right? So it's very easy for you to to find out your playstyle and how uh, how each move connects to the next and perform like uh, links very easily. Yeah, definitely. And you are seeing right there that it's possible to choose by who, which is the the final boss from the game. Yeah, you can play with it uh, on the team battle mode. So right off the bat in, in Team Battle Mode, you're going to have all characters available, just like Marcel said, right? And you can form your, your team of two or like a duo or a trio, right? So your teams of twos and, uh, and threes. Uh, right now, there's there's a very good question here. Uh, Kyrie 40, uh, 5431. As has asked here, will it be possible to have this mode available online with a different person controlling each character? Just curious, because it's more uh, work more reliant on multiple connections. Yeah. So right now, what you're seeing is the the, the team battle mode for uh, for offline versus right. So yeah, local mode. Yeah. It's local. Uh, it's local multiplayer at this time, and this is important. Like as we said last time, we we always hear what you have to say. So of course, we are. Uh, we are working on the possibility of bringing this mode to online matches. But again, our commitment to you is that we will only deliver the best experience, the kind of experience you guys deserve, right? So if we find that the team battle mode is viable through online matches, then it's going to be uh, available for sure. But for now, this game, what you're seeing here, this footage you're seeing here, is the battle mode working for offline versus, right? changes for now <laughs> it's very difficult thing to do and with, uh, sorry I, i'm answering the question and it's, it's not even on screen <laughs> yeah it's not on the screen sorry uh little guy alex uh, asks if you, we if we are considering some balance changes and the answer is actually no because we want the the original game for you to enjoy 
I, we know that we have some balance problems with the characters, but in, in Breaker's Revenge, especially, they are very minor. They're they're very good to play with all the characters. So we want to bring the, the original uh, the original experience for you. So not, we are not considering at the moment any balance changes. Yeah, basically what Marcel is saying is that the the games as they were intended, they are still working that way, right? But for the modes that we are bringing, we do have some fine tuning that we perform. But we we didn't want to change the experience yeah. you have with Breakers and Breakers Revenge. So those games are gonna play as you remember, right? Yeah. But the other modes that we are bringing, and yes, there are way more modes than that. Yeah. We are other, we are performing some fine tuning. Right? Other modes are a whole different story. Yeah. <laughs> Which is actually one of the questions that uh, Alex had, right? So, will the game have an uh, have other modes? Yeah, Alex Chin. Yes, there will be other play modes. We we did mention training mode last time, and we have shown some of it, right? Uh, battle mode is another one, and we do have some more to show you in future uh, sessions, right? In future streams. So stay tuned, right? Because today we uh, we wanted to focus on uh, on the team battle mode, but yeah. Again, we are always listening to you guys. We very soon you'll be able to provide us with closer feedback. If I may say that, uh, we have very great news to bring to you very soon. Yeah. So uh, I love the addition of Ultra Real Power is asking here. I love the addition of Team Battle, but I got to know King of Fighters uh, 15 is party mode, online and offline, is one of the most acclaimed features of the game. Could we see the same for Breakers? Uh, currently, we are working on some of these games modes, and yes, we are studying possibilities. Right now, it's something that, like I said, it's still being attempted, so we cannot confirm that, right? We won't confirm anything that we have absolutely sure that we can yeah. deliver the, the best experience possible. That's true. So yeah. well, what, uh, whatever you see here is what we have functioning, is what we can attest is like uh, on the quality level that we expect to deliver to you guys, right? So uh, that's what we can say. We, will, we won't commit to anything unless we can fully deliver in the uh, measure of quality we believe you guys deserve and we would be proud to uh, to release right we're being very diligent on these matters because we know that if we fail to deliver something that's not the best possible that we can do uh, you are the guy who will suffer and we don't want that we want to deliver only the best we can and only the best we, we deserve of course Now, something really important that we, we are obviously showing you some versus matches, but as we have mentioned, team battle mode is also available for a uh, single player mode. So you can play an arcade campaign versus uh, the CPU, right? And there will be like uh, available modes in 2v2 and 3v3 uh, for those as well. Or you can even play a versus match against the CPU, which is also a possibility, right? Ah, uh, very nice. Let me let's not forget, guys. You can always add it to your wish list on Steam, right? So you can actually add Breakers Collection to your wish list by going to bit.ly, yeah, bit.ly slash breakers steam, right? And there you're gonna find the Steam page for the game in which you can add it to your wish list. And you might say, hey guys, but I, I am actually purchasing the game on consoles, right? I'm not actually playing it on PC, no problem. If you edit your wish list, you're actually going to be the first to know uh, of any new piece of info that we have. And you also let us know of your interest in game, right? So, uh, and maybe who knows if we actually had a beta and the beta uh, for several circumstances was actually exclusive to the PC version. So maybe even if you wouldn't like to like play the final version on PC, you may consider it because who knows just that in the future <laughs> if we have if we ever have another beta for breakers 
it's going to be available there first, and you may have a, a chance to play the game before you buy it on console, right? Uh, well, I believe that everyone understands what we're planning to do right now. So if we add... We are not planning on anything, I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying. If right. you're adding to our wish list, uh, you bring to you very... Uh, any news that you have to... Yeah, no, exactly. Thing. What I'm saying is, if we ever perform, like, if we ever decide to have a new uh, beta, be it closed or open beta, the platform of choice, the platform that is going to be easier to bring that to is going to be PC, right? So if you are already following us uh, on our social media and which uh, if you added the game to your uh, Steam wishlist, it's going to be easier for you to know when, if we have a beta available, right? A new beta. And we actually, just so you know, we actually had a beta earlier this year right, in February, right? In which uh, players got the chance to play the, the online modes of, of Breakers collection the ones we had so uh to then right um, I, I don't know if the people want another or another beta because no one is talking about or even open or closed beta <laughs> i believe they don't want it <laughs> am i am i wrong <laughs> yeah actually we have a, a question here from uh gustavo right gustavo says did you guys get to test to see if breakers will run on steam deck uh Certification for Steam Deck is actually held after the game is sent for validation, right, on the platform. Uh, but we can safely say that it does run on, on that because that, yeah. our aim, and we, we have to remember, we are releasing Breakers Collection, not just for the, the current generation, because it's not new anymore, it's the current generation, right, which means PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series. But we are also releasing to legacy consoles, which includes uh, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, right? Um, and Switch, which is in between, right? So, yes, definitely we are aiming for lower platforms, and that would include Steam Deck, right? So not just high-end PCs, but uh, more modest platforms, right? <laughs> That's a very good machine. It is, it is. Good machine. <laughs> but no, I'm not saying it's bad. What I'm saying is that if you have like a, a gaming PC at home yeah, with yeah, like, yeah, uh, uh, so what else, guys? What else do have you got? Like, uh, is it possible? That's a very good question. Ultra willpower brings this here. Is it possible to set input delay for online matches based on your opponent's connections? Can the game predict how much delay you need to set based on your opponent's? Uh, micro, uh, milliseconds and ping. So, yes, actually, you have methods of setting up. Uh, not only that, but you can also set frame skip. So you you can that the game does offer you a default setting based on the connection you're you're utilizing, you're using for the matches. But yes, you can fine tune that as well, right, to your heart's content. So the game does offer the one that. Uh, it finds best for that type of connectivity at the moment, but you can also uh, temper with the settings. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, will there be a... Yeah. yeah. Bollier TV is asking, a release date? Soon. What I can tell you, yeah, uh, we have talked about that already. We are not ready to confirm a date. What we can tell you guys is that our aim is to release Breakers Collection in this calendar year, so 2022, right? And we may have an announcement soon. When? Soon, right? But our our aim is still to, uh, is still to have it released within this calendar year, right? Maybe it's sooner than, than you might expect. Who knows? What we can tell you right now is that this is not the last you have heard of Breakers Collection, because we will have something to save in the very near future, right? Uh, I saw someone back there asking about a lobby, but uh, yes, we have an online lobby, very complete online lobby, actually. Yeah, so uh, let's just answer this question, and then we get back to that other lobby, because yeah. we have other questions uh, related to that. So. Will Breakers Collection have a PS5 version, or will it only work via backwards compatibility? 
uh, Enrique has asked. Actually, you're gonna have specific features for PlayStation for the current generation. So that means PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series. So there will be specific uh, features for those versions. Yeah. So it's, it doesn't run just on backward compatibility. You may run the PS4 version if you'd like. But I believe that those of you that have PlayStation 5s and Xbox Series may will definitely want to run on those. Yeah. Uh, we do have, like, like uh, Marcel mentioned, will there be a lobby? And added to that, uh, Joe Gillian has asked that, right? And then Boller asked, spectate. Yes, we are going to have both a lobby. So when you're playing online, you have, like, ranked matches and social matches and you have the uh the possibility of creating uh game lobbies to show uh to join like to either join a session that is already in progress with your friends or invite your friends to uh, a lobby to play with you i believe currently the the we have a lobby a functional lobby for up to eight players right and uh you can also expect not only current matches, but I believe we have mentioned that already. With implemented replay, we can actually watch previous matches. Not only that, I believe we have mentioned that already in our last yeah, session. Yeah, yeah. Not only not only will we be able to watch someone else's matches, uh, both in spectate mode for live games or in via replays, but we will also be able to take control of those matches and try to change the uh, the tides of battle, you know? So if you see, like, if you see a match that you think, like, I could do something different, you can actually take control of that and try to change it, you know? Yeah. So it's a very good so you can practice to defend yourself with exactly. yourself on certain situations. You can record that situation that you want to practice on, and you can interact several times on it. I, I I hope that you enjoy and get better at it. Yeah, so we will propose also did also mention something really important here and you need to clarify. He mentioned that Breakers Collection on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series, Nintendo Switch and PC also port crossplay. Uh, we have mentioned that already. The game does support crossplay. We haven't announced yet which platforms will be part of it. What we mean is that there are certain requirements for each of those platforms, and there is a certain uh, paperwork that needs to be done, and certain um, how can I say that? Certain Legal hurdles terms. that we have <laughs> right in the process. So yes, there will be cross-play, we cannot just comment which platforms will be part of it yet, you know? But again, stay tuned. The reason we cannot comment on that yet is like, uh, like we said before, we are performing a series of tasks and performance matters a lot when you're talking about consoles from different generations. It may not seem a lot, but the difference between like a PlayStation 4 and a PlayStation 5 and an Xbox One and then an Xbox, an Xbox Series is huge. And when it comes to performance, they do perform differently, right? And we have to take that into consideration when bringing crossplay into the picture. So we will only make it viable if it works uh, or where it works, It meaning Yes, crossplay is a reality. Which platforms will be part of it? It's all going to depend on these uh, points that we have mentioned, right? So, uh, paperwork, right? Validation with the platforms, and of course, performance. Because there's no point in, in doing crossplay if the platforms are not performing up to par with the others that we have, right? So, when, like we said, we have very high standards in what we want to deliver because we want to deliver only the best for you because this is what you deserve right but we are hoping to solve all these issues very very soon very soon uh Bollier is asking here in training can we give precise orders to the dummy yes yes 
So in training mode, you can either have like a, a, another player join, it's possible. Yeah, which is going to be closer to a versus match, but actually you can control that with the other uh, character with a controller. You can give specific orders like in, in, uh, in a sequence of events. So, for example, you can ask your character to stand, to jump, or to perform a set of commands in a specific order. So you can give it like a string of commands. So in training mode, there there's several options for your dummies, yeah? Uh, there's a question here. I don't think I understood well LR 2013. Could you, if possible, could you please rephrase your question? Because uh, the question here reads, why the game and four gigabytes and had, it, had an improvement in fluidity input? So maybe if you could rephrase your question because it's not very clear. Uh, uh, meanwhile, we can answer the FGC Watcher right there. So, FGC Watcher, are there Brazilians working in this collection? Yeah, plenty of them. Qbyte is actually a Brazilian studio, right? So, we are Brazilians here. Yeah. Uh, I believe you can see that by our, my accent. Yeah, so we have <laughs> we have very strong accent. It's very easy to detect. We're not. But maybe they're thinking they're thinking we are Latinos, like yeah, because <laughs> uh, Brazil is part of uh, Latin America, America, right? But yeah. Latinos, they it is strange, you know, that Latinos they take us out. Yeah, but in here we consider ourselves. Latinos, <laughs> they yeah, because usually we don't take them out. Exactly, we yeah, them. we are we are Latinos because we are part of Latin America. It's, it's just that we speak Portuguese and Latin America. The other Latin American countries they speak Spanish, right? Castellano. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, actually, There's I can a say lot of Brazilians a lot of Bra <laughs> I would say, uh, if not a hundred percent of the team is Brazilian, I, we're very close to that because we do have like some people working. Uh, but I, I would say that we are close to one hundred percent of the team working on Breakers is Brazilian. Very proudly, we are very proud of the work we do here. We have some great developers in Brazil, right? And in their region, yeah. Latin America. Yeah, we, are, uh, we can't say that uh, only Brazilians work on this collection because we're planning, obviously, uh, other uh, actions for the game that will be part of another country. But the production itself, it's all here in Brazil. Sao Paulo, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just is asking here, like, uh, me too. I'm just asking because I heard Bruno from 99 Vitas talking about the studio. No. Ah, ah you think my vo and he thinks my voice is similar to his. Yeah. To, to what? He thinks my voice is similar to Bruno's from 99 Vitas. Oh, do you think so? Do you think so? Really? Well, you have to tune your ears there, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that's just that's kidding, strange. Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, FGC. So, our uh, Yelp players asking about a tournament mode. Yes, that definitely in the picture. Yeah. So we are working on that. If uh, let's see what we have next. I, I can comment much more on that, but. Yes, I can definitely say that tournament mode is one of the things that we have been working on. Yeah. Byler uh, is asking. Bailier, Bailier. Like the, there's a very good movie called Bailier. Yeah. Have you ever seen the Bailier, Bailier I family? Seen it yet. No. They actually made a a version an american version of the movie i i prefer the original the french version it is, is really really good it's very it's a very touching movie you know i'll put it on my list yeah <laughs> the port is faithful to the arcade version yes as we were saying earlier we try to bring the experience for those of you that are familiar with the original game so the arcade experiences that you had in the past will be reflected in this game so breakers in breakers revenge the arcade versions are untouched. What we did do 
is for some of the new modes that we are bringing, we have made some fine tuning, some adjustments, but Breakers and Breakers Revenge will play exactly as you remember because we feel that these games, like gamers like those games for what they are, right? So we wanted to, to keep that experience true, true to what they had, right? Uh, to what they had been or to what they have been in the past. Like, because people still play those games and it's fun, like really fun to there, play. There are still some, some tournaments uh, online uh, with old versions of the game. It's very fun to watch, actually. Yeah. Uh, offline, of course, not yeah. online mode. <laughs> uh, we saw it on, on broadcasts. Yeah. Uh, Gustavo says that with a team mode, was it ever considered to add a mode with more than two players? We we have considered a lot of things, a lot of things, including like playing with multiple players, like more than two players. But once again, not everything that we test is going to be in the final version. Only what we believe is uh, is all. How can I say? Well, I don't know. What we believe is aligned with our expectations. Yeah, aligned with our expectations will be in the final product, right? Because we want to deliver the best experience we can uh, to you guys, right? To all of you, because you you deserve just the best. That's it. Also, stay tuned because later today we are gonna have some uh, some keys for some of our games, right? Some of our other games. We have our marketing team here with us, our PR guys, and they're going to be share, uh, going to be sharing with you in the chat uh, some keys for some of our games in uh, in our platforms. And also, stay tuned and please keep your questions coming. What else we have? We have a question here from Lucas. But as this is in English, I'll have to translate here. So I've noticed you have actually enabled the CPU colors as an extra color for uh, the team mode, right? Uh, would it be possible with the CPU? Um, I, let me see if I got your, your question right. Can you then yeah, but it's in Portuguese, so, uh, so yeah. <laughs> there's no much point bringing it here. But uh, let me say like that. I believe what you're asking if you would be able to play with the character that the CPU uh, controls when you have a mirror match, right? So no, that's why we have the color there for the character. So you're going to have the character and you have the additional color that the CPU uses for the regular character, right? Uh, when you play mirror matches, they're gonna be, if you're playing versus, they're gonna be mirror matches with the same character, but different colors. And the CPU is gonna have the same behavior they had. So uh, the uh, the other named characters will be available as CPU characters, but not for the players. I believe that's the answer to your question, if I got it right. If it's not good. You can ask again. Yeah. <laughs> a little more specific. <laughs> and of course, we we did mention that we are uh, working on a tournament mode, and that's of course to support offline mode, so you can play it uh, with your friends. And if everything goes well, and again, I'm not promising anything yet for the final version. Of course, we want to have that feature in online, so you can have online tournaments. We would love to see some online tournaments for uh, for breakers, right? Y'all player actually asked here, are you guys playing a special physical version of the game, art book, posters, etc.? Yes, we actually have a partner that is bringing breakers collection to uh, in physical versions, both standard and the collector's edition of the game. Uh, have we? Uh, it's announced already, right? So yeah, many. it's also uh, that's why we can say strictly limited, strictly limited game. Yeah. yeah, so strictly limited games uh, is our partner for the physical version of Breakers Collection, right? So both standard and collector's edition, you can find at SLG's website, right? Mm -hmm. 
So, <laughs> Kyrie did mention here, can't guarantee final version, but I was playing the beta just fine on a Pentium series uh, processor. I believe he's answering Gustavo. Because Gustavo, Gustavo has asked, asked yeah. if it was if it was very demanding. So like like we said, we are we are of course uh, considering not just high end PCs but lower end PCs as well. Uh, as long as it doesn't compromise the experience, right? We have to remember that we have to deliver a seamless experience uh, throughout the the platforms, or we are aiming to, right? So. Uh, definitely runs on lower spec PCs, not just high end. So you won't have to to purchase a new PC just to play Breakers, unless you have something that is really, really, you know, outdated. And for the <laughs> if you still keep around your PC from the '90s, for instance, you may have some problem running that. Yeah, but no, we, we have very modest uh, specifications, specifications like specs requires. to run. Yeah. There's a good, good, good info for the Xbox players right there. I believe there's some key on the chat. Yeah, guys, pay attention. So you guys on YouTube, you, you we just pasted a key for Thunderbolt Collection. It's our latest release from Cubite Classics, right? So run whoever's uh, whoever's activate that first gets it because it's just one key, guys. Go check it. Go go go. So what else is the reason for? So is there a reason going for a strictly limited release due to the cost of a long-term physical release? So uh, the the reason we we actually have chosen at this point to have a, a physical release with our partners that's strictly limited is because first we have partnered with them before for two of our games, right? So. Uh, 99 Vitas and Vasara Collection are both games we have released with them. And they're both behind yeah, us Yeah, so right you can now. check. So we like the quality of the work they uh, they have done for those titles, right? Uh, and also, we don't have, uh, as a company, focus on development, and but also porting and publishing, digital publishing. We don't have a specific brand to handle physicals. So that's why we decided to partner with them. And that's the model that they follow, right? So they do have standard version and collector's edition, but in a limited quantity. Of course, if there is demand in the future, who knows, we can go for uh, a larger amount of, of um, units, right? For physical units. But you guys have to let us know, right? Yeah, and then they used to make very quality uh, uh collection editions you have yeah uh, vasara's collector edition here the art book uh, can you see it it's very high quality product so uh, i believe this will be the same quality for breakers collection or even better yeah so lucas lucas russia is asking here are you guys giving away keys to test i don't understand so what we are doing here today is talking about the game, but the game did have a beta, and in the future, for speaking of breaker, right? Who knows? We may have another beta. Who knows? But what we are seeing here in the chat, be it on Twitch or on YouTube, is actually our PR team, our marketing team, is sharing a few keys to some of our of our other games. So, Qbyte is working, of course, not only on Breakers Collection. We also have other titles. And what they're sharing is some of the other titles we have published on console, right? So uh, what you're seeing here are keys for some of our other games until this is to keep you busy, you know, until Breakers uh, is released, right? Which might happen soon, who knows? Yeah. So Carrie did mention here. I'm going to try and pick up the physical switch release, but if needed, I'll get the game digitally. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you for supporting us. That's amazing. That's awesome. Thank you for all the support you have for us, guys. Anything else, guys? Any other questions? Keep them coming. Do you want to try to play some, some matches online right now? Would you? 
Sure, why not? We can give it a try. It's let's so see. Good. That's always let's good see. to play. <laughs> yeah, let's see if my workstation here can handle the performance, but let's see. Let's see what we have here. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. It's any character that you guys want to see us playing or anything else. We choose to, to show you the, the team match. So if you want us to play with some specific characters, you can say it on the chat. So let's see. Let's try to show you some. No, it's not working yet. Yeah. What's going to happen is that we will have to do this. Share. An additional camera. What if we do that? We actually have to. Oh, we can share a screen, right? So in the meantime, why don't you answer What's your, your player's question? What is the best part of for you guys of working uh, working on this game? Oh, there's so much so much to tell about for, for the best part. <laughs> the absolutely best. Well, I have to say is uh, inventing new modes. I believe when we, we, we come up with new modes and try to work it out, it's very satisfying to us to make things that that even existed before. You know, uh, let's say there's some, some old versions of the game that didn't have the team match, for example. And when we come up, it's very satisfying to us to see it happen. I believe to to all the team, it's this kind of part, and all the the implementations and the new designs that we're making for the game, it's also very satisfying. Of course, when they deliver the game, it will be even more satisfying, but for now, I believe the new features, it's the highlight of the development. Oh. We'll do it. They won't let us show the, the. This is just okay. No, but it's like this. Let me let me know. Yeah, I have something here. Uh, I'm saying someone of you asked me about achievements. And yes, we have a, a bunch of new achievements, a bunch of achievements for you to, to get. There's a lot of things so you can you have fun alone. <laughs> so yes, we have a, we will have achievements for all the platforms, yes. Well, I believe it. When a 14 year old can do that, why can't yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> Here, that's what oh, I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> calm down, calm down, not yet. Because then what we have is here, and then we might be able to share this. And let us know, guys, if you can see it, right? Because now we are going to be playing live. Okay, no, 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 no. There you go. Okay. So we're going to be playing some live matches with you guys. You actually got the first one. No, it's not me. I click on that. You have control? Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. So you go to game selection. Um, yeah. Let, let's, let us show them around just a little bit. So sure. if you go to... No, it's okay. You go to breakers. Breakers and breakers revenge. 
So you get to pick the game you want. And then, as you can see, you have the arcade mode, versus mode, and team battle mode, right? Just remember, this is not the final version yet, so some of these may be subject to change. And I, we want to, to advert to that this is specifically, this build specifically, it's to show the team battle. Mm -hmm. So it won't be available in other, in other parts of the game. Now, before you go into versus, let, let's show them a little bit of arcade. Oh, sure. Why don't you play a little bit of arcade for them to see? Sure. Right? So confirm. There you go. Then team battle mode. Team battle. And then arcade team, team battle. battle. So yes, like we said, you can play. So there you'll be able to choose the difficulty and the team size. As we mentioned, we have a 2v2 and a 3v3. Right, and then you can set your difficulty when playing against uh, the CPU in rank. Let's play on normal mode. Right? Normal is five. Yeah. Normal is five. Five. Yes. Yeah. So you get to pick your team, right? We have here Sizo that's available only on Breaker's Revenge. Now, before before you here. proceed, you guys do see that on screen there, you actually have the the prompt for pressing a button to change your color, right? Which in this case, we are playing with an Xbox controller. So it's the Y, right? And while he plays, you'll be able to see that he's able to choose the colors, right, from, from for the players or the customers, the characters, customers, the characters' outfit, right? We can also play with by who, which is the final boss of the game. This unfortunately does have only one set of color. And well, let's play with Tia. Okay. Oh, wow. So now you're seeing a, a live game with Marcel. So Marcel is going to play a little bit of the arcade mode on, on Team Battle, right? So again, as you can see, uh, we did mention that right underneath your HP bar, your health bar, you actually get to see like your characters and the CPU characters who are part of the, their teams, right? Yeah, very nice. As you can see, Marcel really likes using his hair, right? Yeah, <laughs> the hairdo. <laughs> so Sizo and his spiky hair. Whoa, Whoa double, double KO. KO. <laughs> I would like to say that that was the first, but unfortunately, it won't. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I my pointing press because I thought you were killing it there, right? No, I'm just getting my ass kicked. <laughs> okay, now you have Baihu. So let's see how you yeah, handle Baihu. Yeah, I don't have to fight with Baihu very much. But as you can see, like like we mentioned before, the team battle mode works pretty much like a like any game of three v three like matches in which you have like a character that is going to be available until it runs out of HP, right? Of uh, and then you move to the next one. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It seems you're going to make it. Yeah. 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 So that's the problem playing like playing. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get back to the chat. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like I said, problems with my workstation here when we try to to stream it, it doesn't work very well, but we are gonna get back to this is the video one, right? Yeah. yeah. Just remove I was able to show my but at least we got to show skills. you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> show show you a little bit of the, the menu, right? The navigation in there. 
And like we said, it's available right now. It's available for available for both Breakers and Breakers Revenge. Uh, and that includes arcade modes, right? So you can play like your regular arcade match and versus modes for now. FGC Watch, no, uh, where is it? FGC Watcher just asked if we will launch on Nintendo Wii. Unfortunately, no. no. <laughs> Nintendo is no longer certifying games for the Wii, right? So no, that's a big yeah. no. Gustavo has just bought another uh, Thunderbolt collection key for PlayStation. So go ahead, guys. Go, go, go. Uh, the, the, is the video working on there? It should be working, right? Oh, there it is. It's just that we are listening to, to Rolling Stones. Oh, yeah. What? Because <laughs> they painted black. Oh, the old jokes. Yeah. <laughs> you see that they work, they work in different languages, right? Yeah. So. Oh, cool. glad you guys like all the colors. Yeah, so... Guys, we are about to wrap, so any other questions, any final questions you'd like to... To ask anything you'd like to know, let's just remove them, have our links back. Don't forget to add Breakers Collection to your wish list on Steam. Because maybe, who knows in the future, if we ever have any new piece of info, you'll be the first to know, right? Any else, anything else you'd like to, to say? Anything else you'd like to bring up, Marcel? Well, actually, I hope you all like it. And like Bruno said, please add it to your Steam wish list because we're releasing a, a lot of news through it. Uh, only people that have the Breakers collection on the wish list will receive those news. Uh, so it's very important to you uh, yeah. so you can add it to Steam wish list. And if, if there is any chance of you guys playing the game before release, that's going to be the place to go, right? So if you are there, if you are with your wish list, you may receive a notification. And maybe people who are already there may have some sort of, I don't know, advantage, advantage. Very in getting advantage. to know when the beta releases, right? So, Multiversal Games, he has mentioned that on the True Achievement side, only 19 people made 1,000G on Thunderbolt, including me. Congrats. <laughs> Congratulations, yeah. There you go. Uh, Kyrie has asked, but yeah, have you all looked at a color palette, uh, call a color palette editor or editor? Don't think that one got answered unless I just missed it. So uh, we are experimenting with it, and once again, we are not sure if it's going to the final version because it has to be fully functional to be deployed, right? But yes, we are experimenting with it. And and actually, there are already a lot of colors on breakers, so. Yeah, yeah, it's a very colorful yeah, game. It's a very colorful game. You all see, <laughs> <laughs> you all see the, the yellow show. I love the yellow show right there. It's That's what he good. mentioned. Yellow yeah. yellow, yellow show is gene, right? It's gene, yeah. In mirror matches, it's gene, yeah. Yeah, it's very beautiful. And... But yeah, definitely this is something that we are uh, yeah. working on, several possibilities of adding new colors to the characters. But, but like we said before, we will only... Who, uh, it will only make it to the final version if it is fully functional, right? The art gallery about the gallery. 
Will Breakers have a gallery like in Garou with some unlockable arts? Yes, Bristol, yes. There will be... We actually have a lot of new art to show you. I believe this one we can show because this is, this doesn't depend on performance, right? I, I don't let I us believe let... it's not in this build. I believe this build is only 14 match. Are you sure? Let's check. No, let's go check go to the Zez. There's no such thing. Squid, why did they put that? Yeah, you have to <laughs> correct that. <laughs> so go to... Extras yes. gallery. Let's there go. you go. There it is. Just just a moment because you need to share the screen here with you guys, but you'll be able to see yeah. what we are talking about. But we do have a gallery here for you. Okay, so as you can yes. see, press B so they can see you going into the gallery. So go all the way back to the main menu so they can actually this is see the main it. Menu, the, the first menu of the game. I'm going to extras, gallery, and here we are. We yeah, there are several beautiful. arts here that are unlocked yeah. because we played the game already, right? But yeah, though the as you can see, there are also several uh, pieces of art to be unlocked, right? So as you play the game, the more you play, you unlock not only fan arts, which we do have, but also uh, original art from the arcade cabinets. You have several things like going on here, like never before, uh, never before seen images from uh, the developers back then, right? So yes, definitely we do have a very comprehensive uh, gallery. Exactly. We have some original art right there. This is from the, the original developers that we, that we savage that we have here. Oh, and someone actually show no, let's show them. It's good. So as you see, you may have the requirements to unlock your art listed there. So for instance, this one requires you to win tw uh, 25 ranked matches against gold ranked opponents. What does it mean to be gold ranked? Uh, actually, as we mentioned, we do have social matches when it comes to online. We have social matches and ranked matches. And we have a, an, uh, an internal ranking uh, system. So that goes from clear to platinum, if I'm not mistaken, or diamond, actually. Yeah. Goes from clear to diamond. And then as you progress online, you're not, not only going to get a better ranking, but you also have access to uh, different uh, titles for your characters, like game, they, games do have that a lot. So you have different titles based on the uh, achievements you get. You may have a different uh, picture for your characters that is, good, uh, is going to show your achievements on, when you're online. So we do have a lot of online features that uh, for your gamer card, right, for your uh, and that's not only for the online. You also have access to that on the offline modes. But as you progress, both offline and online, you're going to acquire more uh, arts for uh, for gallery. Uh, you're going to acquire more uh, titles for your gamer card. And uh, what else? Yeah. Additional pictures that go into your card, your gamer card, right? We also have some sound effects here, the original sound effects. Yeah, but I don't think they're hearing it. No, right? yeah, so, But so go go back out. <laughs> Actually, there's something that we wanted to show. Go to game selection again, then pick like uh, breakers or whichever. Yeah. Then go to training mode because they were asking about training mode, right? Oh, right. So pick whatever one. Then you get to pick your character, right? And now I, I'm also picking my opponent. Yeah. So in training mode here, right? This is something we have shown already, but we want to give you a little, uh, a quick look again. So if you go to settings, go to settings, right? 
And there you can set up your hitbox, your damage info. Input data shows you what was it. No, whoops. Yeah. Uh, you can set like your life meters, right? So your gauge as well. So uh, press RB. There you can set up for the second player. And as you can see, you can set the behavior there. And you have dummy, you have recording, like I said. You can actually record inputs and have that uh, the character repeat it, right? Can you go? Player two means you can control your uh, your opponent using the the second controller. Can you? Yeah. Then CPU is like a fully functional uh, opponent, right? And then dummy again. And if you go press down in dummy, you have the options to leave it idle and give a series of simple commands like walk forward, walk backward, jumping, crouching, and so on, right? So as we mentioned earlier. We do have in our training mode, not only dummy commands, like simple commands like these, but you can also record actions to have it repeat or have it like controlled by a second player or even a fully functional CPU, right? Exactly. And here we get back again. Mm -hmm. Press V, yeah, there you go. And here. So you set up for jumping, right? Yeah, <laughs> While well, we're jumping actually. <laughs> And then you can test all of these situations, right? That's very good to training someone like me that plays only jumping. <laughs> <laughs> so I believe it. that's it for training, right? So you have yeah. shown them. Let's get back because we can read, get to read them more questions. Got to read them questions. So Ultra Will Power is asking, will there be a new animated intro and song created when booting up the game right before you press any button? There is already, right, uh, a new tune for the, the main menu. I, I think you didn't listen because we were not playing the audio from the, the live section here. An animated intro is something that we're still deciding on, right, because that's a different kind of effort. Uh, but for a tune, a different tune and uh, different selection screen, yes. So, any other questions, guys? Roll back Netcode in Breakers Collection. Yes, Mateus, roll back Netcode. We are working. Uh, from the start in this game with netcode, right? So we want to be able to use rollback. Uh, very early in the game, we decided that's what we would pursue and that's what you see. So people play the beta, they play the version of the game that is running with netcode already. And uh, so yes, all online uh, functionalities run on uh, rollback netcode. Yell player is asking, are we going to have a secret unlockable character? Well, by who is unlockable, right? So, <laughs> so if you play the original games, we are not introducing any additional character in the original games. Uh, so you're going to have the full set of characters that were available uh, when the games were originally released, right? Does Breaker Revenge have that remix mode from the Neo Geo CD? The Neo Geo CD version was not based on Breaker's Revenge. It was based on Breaker's, right? Uh, this is something... It's not Remix, actually. It's... Uh, I forgot the name that they use. It's called... No, no, no. There's a name for that. I, for, I forgot the name. Uh, something mode. I, I forgot the name. But yes... Uh, we are studying that, but it's not in Revenge, right? Just keep in mind that Neo Geo CD, the version of the game, Extra Mode, the Extra Mode, was based on uh, Breakers, the original game, not Breakers Revenge. But yes, we are studying the possibility of bringing Extra Mode functionalities, but once again, and I want people to understand that I'm not uh, saying that it's going to be in the final version. 
everything that will make the cut for the final version are things that are fully functional, but we are experimenting a lot with several features, yeah. Uh, Kyrie mentioned that I mentioned something about the unlock conditions for the gallery. If you could take a look at it, gallery is important. I appreciate if you can look at that. We talk about some online, online things to needed to be to unlock some some arts. So, oh boy, online specific unlock requirements for gallery. I don't want the game to fail, obviously, but I would like to request you guys to add alternative offline unlock conditions because I've seen unlocks achievements in fighting games become quite literally unobtainable because a few years later people weren't playing it right so here's our commitment to you i i understand the feeling uh, this is a concern for our team as well but before the game reached that status right uh, that state we are implementing like we do have patches in place for uh, circumventing those conditions right so if the needs, uh, if the need arises, you can rest assured that we'll have means of, of addressing it, okay? So you won't be uh, left in the future with un, uh, unattainable arts in your gallery, okay? So rest assured that we do have that covered and we have patches in place to have it addressed if needed, okay? that's it that's it well thank you all very much hope you have liked what we have seen today a little bit of the the uh, team battle modes that we have for you again for breakers and breakers revenge in breakers collection right available both for versus and arcade modes so you can play 2v2 or 3v3 matches against your friends or you can play against the cpu in a full arcade campaign right for now, these modes, and I want to make it very clear, for now, these modes are fully functional uh, offline. We are still working on having those validated for online functionality, but rest assured that whatever ends up being the final product for the online functionality is going to be uh, up to par with your standards and our standards as well. Okay? Thank you very much. Hope to see you guys very soon. Stay tuned. Uh, again, let me just show you guys again. If you want to have the latest piece of info from Breakers Collection, go to our Steam page and add it to your wishlist. So bit.ly slash Breakers Steam. Two S's. Okay, exactly. Breakers. And then another S for Steam. Okay. Thank you all. Hope you all have a great day. Take care and see you next time. See ya. <laughs>